Hello, welcome to this fake second video. Uh, we have seen how to download uh, satellite images, but as well to how to download single bands. Let's see how we can read an image. When we download a single band image, we can visualize this image as a grayscale, because there is one pixel, then one value. This value ranges from 0 to 255. It means that uh, this has, it has a very low reflectivity, like the water in the infrared, it means it is a zero, or let's say the, the near infrared for vegetation due to chlorophyll, so very high value, and it will be in direction of 255, so let's say the higher values means a higher reflectivity. But then we can also combine these single images in a color composite images, so we'll put, uh, let's say, a wavelength images in the red, one in the green, one in the blue channel, performing, providing us with the color images. So uh, this is the different color combination uh, of red, green and blue, let's say the complete black is 0, 0, 0, the white is 255 for all the three uh, channel, and then all the different combination. So when we load a single band information, let's say bands number 1, we can see the information by right click the the band, go to raster properties, and this is the window that appear. And so we have all the data set information, the geographic coordinates, and as well in this case that it's a single band and it's in gray. Instead of clicking every time the information of the images, we can have a dynamic visualization through the analysis view that uh, uh, provide us a dynamic information of the uh, raster, the pixel values, because it opens a window, a course of zoom, and I can define the, the zoom level from times 4 until times 32, and also define the color of the information, red or green, and moving on the, with the cursor over the images, I will visualize dynamically the information of the pixel value. For sure, in this case, since it is a grayscale, R, G, and B will have the same values. And as well, I can improve the visualization of the images. Uh, always in the raster properties, we have seen we can open this uh, through the, uh, let's say, the um, contextual menu. I can activate the brightness and contrast. I can also activate the enhancement. I can remove edges. I mean, I can remove the extreme value pixel values in order to improve the visualization. I can also clip tails. I mean, if I improve the percentage of the extreme values that will be removed, the image will be better visualized. As well before, we can also perform color composite. And this is a natural color, as we see, let's say, the, the water will be blue, the vegetation will be green, but I can always change the color composite. In this case, I put the compo uh, composition of near infrared, red, and green, while here it is red, green, and blue are the natural red, green, and blue. So in this case, I see as it is, as it was a aerial photographs. In this case, and this is only an example, I can, I will match the different bands with different channels, and you see that the vegetation is in different color. As you see, we can have more information from these images compared with is, is, these images. I mean, the channels are the, uh, the images is the same, taking the same time, but I just uh, change the, the channels, and you see, as I told you before, if I put the near infrared, the, Im the water will be dark because the reflectivity is very, very low. And uh, I can also match a different combination, let's say, this is a, a different combination, you see near infrared, red, green, and you have short wavelength infrared, near infrared, and red. So then I will show you how to combine these uh, bands, but having different bands uh, coming from the same images and uh, matching them and uh, putting this ch uh, each band in one different channel, I can visualize in a different way. You see here the smoke uh, is lighter, and so I will uh, have uh, more visibility on uh, the underlying uh, information. The active fire 
is, vi is uh, viewed in red while here is not uh, visible and also more information as you see this is for example other example of images this is a different bands uh, different com bands combination of the same image so when you download uh, a Landsat images uh, you download all the bands then it's up to you to combine them having different uh, uh, purposes let's say for the humidity detection for vegetation for soils you can browse on the net for uh, let's say what is the main goal of different combination but you see this is the same images with more information you see here for example the humidity is more visible than here this is let's say several combination but remember that when you download the Landsat uh, family of images uh, Landsat 8 has an additional band in the uh, band 1 so if you want to compare color composite from uh, Landsat 7 and 5 and Landsat 8 please remember that the color composite 432 of Landsat 7 and 5 corresponds to combination 543 of the bands in Landsat 8 so remember that uh, you cannot compare the same color combination and how can I make a color composition I go always in raster properties I add the different bands I have downloaded from one of this one of this website I've shown you before I give the name of the new layer that will be composed by the color combination and then I move let's say once I have downloaded all the bands I'm, I have available, then I can put all one band in 5, one in 4, and one in 3. So in this case, I perform a color composite 5, 4, 3. You see 5 in, band in red, 4 in the green, 3 in the blue. So I have the in different information. And you will see that if I change, for example, if I make... 6, uh, 3, 2, then I will apply, the images will change. I mean, the image is the same, but the colors will change according to what is the, the ground truth. So let's say the vegetation in this case is red, the bare soil is, uh, say, is different in the brownish. So it's up to you to change the combination to derive additional information. And remember, the only constraint is that all the bands must have the same spatial resolution I mean you cannot match one band of 50 meters 15 meters with one band of 60 meters all the loaded bands that you want to use to make a color composite must have the same spatial resolution you see other example of the same bands with different color composite you see here how the white is more enhanced compared with the other images and how you can see the pixel information or through the image analysis I've shown before or just with the information and then you see that for example in this part this is red the, uh, the red value RGB is very high 181 because it's vegetation so in the, as I told before in the near infrared the vegetation has a high reflectivity high reflectance while the, the water has a very low value in the near infrared. Once I have uh, produced my RGB composite and I'm satisfied with what I produced, I can export as a raster already packed with the in the color images. I make a file, save view to georeference layer. I define the upper left and lower right drawing a rectangle. I define the output uh, uh, spatial resolution that usually should be the same of the input uh, spatial bands of the spatial solution of the bands then I give it the output uh, name and I check uh, produce a word file word file is uh, let's say a text file that contains uh, additional information of my images and then I will save and then I will have uh, my RGB images with the boundaries I have defined so then I can export and use as already a color images not a single band or a grayscale, Im grayscale images there is another possibility 
a click here create layer multi-file I will uh, upload all the images I need I perform the color composite I desire then I build the file and I have as output my uh, layer with the color composite without any clip so this is with the same extension of the loaded bands well in next video we'll apply some filters and masks to the images to be able to exploit uh, even better. Thanks a lot.